ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Former's Friday. This week I'm coming to you from uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper Scottish Castle. And uh, it's actually kind of drafty in here. He needs more tapestries. All right, today on Former's Friday, we actually have a request. I know, it's crazy, right? Someone actually watches the show. It's boggling my mind. But regardless, uh, someone asked if I could take a look at some of the uh, Creons, the Creo minifigures. For those of you not familiar, uh, Creos are basically Hasbro's Legos, and Creons are what they call the minifigures. And they've been doing these... Um, basically Transformers blind bag versions of them. And I don't really have, I've got a couple, but I don't really have very many. And so uh, they actually provided an entire wave four here, or series four, what is this? This is collection four. Uh, 12 of these blind bag uh, Creo Transformers from Hasbro. So, let's take a look, shall we? Now, these are in blind bags, which means when you buy this package at the store, you are just going to randomly get one of these in there and you don't know which one you are getting. Except, uh, printed on the edge of the package right here is a small code. I'll try to get up close enough so you can see. Most of you already know this, but if you look at the last two digits uh, on the code, it tells you actually which figure is inside. And so each one uh, has a different two-digit code, and that way you can actually hunt down uh, if you want a particular figure or if you're trying to build the set, get the ones you want. This is actually an awesome idea. When blind bags uh, in toys first were coming along and they were $1.99, they were $0.99, cents, I love the idea of the blind bags. Now that they've become $2.99, $3.99, $4.99 in some cases, I'm not as happy with the whole blind bag idea. Uh, but having the code on there that allows you to actually find the one you want regardless, I think is a great idea. So you can see it's just a simple little bag. Um, it says two in one because of course these are transformers. They can be a robot or they have an alt mode. Uh, but one of the key things here, if you look real close, product does not convert. And this is actually one of the things I don't like about the Creo Transformers. For me, the whole point of the Transformers is that they, well, transform. Uh, these do none of that. Now, the logic behind it, of course, these are basically uh, building blocks. Uh, and so you're building one and then taking the pieces apart and building the other uh, version, building the alt mode, which I can see the argument uh, that they're making there as far as the uh, the idea of building them one way or building them another but at the same time I just to me it's not a transformer because it doesn't transform uh, having said that though this set has some nice figures in it uh, we will go through I don't need to read them off the package because obviously we're gonna go through them here in a minute um, but I will just say there is Rodimus and uh, I've heard before it said on the internet nobody likes Rodimus. So anyway let's do the magic of video editing and we will find that our bags have magically opened themselves and the robots are now built. Let's take a look. So here they are in their robot modes and to be quite honest this is how I prefer to display them. The ones that I have purchased in the past pretty much go into robot mode and stay in robot mode for the rest of their lives. Now one of the things that's always bugged me about these are the leftover bits that you get from their alt mode when they're in robot mode that you really have nothing to do with. And I've tried to point out some of the worst offenders by actually attaching all the leftover pieces to the base of the figure. So you can see, uh, for instance, if we take Breakneck here, you can see that Breakneck has a lot of uh, extra leftover bits that you really have nowhere to store except basically what I've done here, and which is to stick them on the base. Uh, Cup is another one that has a ton of leftover pieces for, you know, really no reason. There's nothing you can do with it, just stick it on there. 
Uh, Iceberg is another one. It's got uh, he's got a big block uh, because that's his windshield when he's in the snowplow mode. Um, and there's you know nothing to do with it except throw it on the base so you don't lose it because that's one of my main concerns really is these are all little Lego pieces. I'm sorry, little Creo pieces, and I'm just afraid that they're going to get lost somewhere along the way. I will point out, however, there are a couple that, you know, pass my uh, kind of douchey extra piece test. Uh, first is Alpha Trion, who I'm a character, uh, I, I'm surprised they actually made him. Um, I, I didn't think we would ever see him in uh, a line like this. Uh, but he has no leftover pieces. Everything has a spot, uh, mostly because they've turned uh, a lot of the leftover pieces into a big sword that he holds in his hand. So that actually helps uh, in order to use up those extra pieces. Uh, Rhinox, oops, stand up. Rhinox is another one, uh, has no leftover pieces. And so is Demolisher, uh, right here. Demolisher and Rhinox have no leftover pieces from their alt mode when they're in robot mode. Now, the other thing I said when I complained about uh, the Creons is that in order to transform them, you have to kind of take them apart and rebuild them, except for these two. These two guys, you can actually transform as is from these little robots. Now, I'll start with Demolisher. Uh, Demolisher, you actually fold his little tank tread things over on his arms uh, and kind of get them out of the way that way. And you switch his guns from facing backwards to facing forwards. And there you go. He is now transformed into his alt mode which leaves a little bit to be desired from the overall aesthetics of the character. But hey, uh, they, they certainly tried, uh, and they put something together there. So I do give them credit as far as that goes uh, for at least, uh, you know, doing the basic uh, trial and error, figuring out some way uh, to make that happen. And so he gets a couple bonus points for uh, being able to transform right then and there. Rhinox is very similar. Um, his only real problem is that you've got no place for the gun to go once he's in, um, you know, rhino mode. But you get that on a lot of regular transformers as well. Uh, you basically turn his arms up like this, bend him at the waist, and now he is a rhinoceros, more or less. If only you could make a tail out of this by sticking the gun up his butt or something uh, in order to have a little rhinoceros tail. That would probably be the only way you could really fix that. Um, but, you know, otherwise, those two guys have the ability to transform as is. Everyone else has some sort of measure of rebuilding. Now, I said that usually I keep these in robot mode um, just because. Uh, I do prefer the look of these, and I think in robot mode, overall, the Creons work a little bit better. I think this is more or less what they are designed for, especially with the helmets uh, that add a lot of shape and dimension to them. Uh, I do want to notice that, you know, obviously uh, they reuse a lot of parts. Uh, you've got, you know, identical wings on some of these different guys, uh, just molded in different characters to get them out of the way. Uh, the tank treads on Demolisher and Iceberg are the same. Uh, the helmets on Brawn and Iceberg uh, are this, not only the same, uh, but they look like Battlestar Galactica helmets from the original series, which actually I'll give bonus points to on that. Um, now, let's go through, take a quick look. Uh, Alpha Trion, we talked about a minute ago, his helmet actually has a built-in visor, so it comes down and covers his eyes. Uh, he's got the sword in his hand, and his little uh, extra leftover bits become these, I don't know, wing jetpack things that sit on his back. And overall, uh, he looks pretty good. Uh, we have Barrage here next to him. Barrage is actually an Insecticon. Uh, and he does a pretty good job of being contained here. He just has these two little leftover pieces, but in his robot mode, I think he actually does a pretty good job of uh, looking like the robot he's supposed to, more or less. Cyclonus, boy, these are hard to keep up sometimes. Cyclonus only has this one leftover little piece. And honestly, 
there are a couple of them that have these leftover pieces. And if I was going to display him, you could actually take this piece and stick it right here on his back. Uh, you can do that on most of them. We'll look at a couple others uh, that are airplane types uh, that you can do that with. Once it's on his back, it's really not that noticeable. Uh, it gets it out of the way, and when he's on display as the robot, uh, then you just, whoop, then you drop him uh, on camera while everybody's watching. Uh, then you can have him on display, and you don't have that extra piece you have to worry about losing or getting out of the way. So uh, that's kudos on that one. Uh, Demolisher, which we looked at a minute ago, he is missing any sort of hand weapon. Uh, I don't know why. He seems to be the only one that doesn't have some type of gun or uh, something with him. But uh, regardless, he does have the... Uh, I like the look of this helmet, even though he and Cup share the same helmet there in different colors. Um, it just has a nice kind of... Um, I don't know if you remember Doom like the Space Marines, whatever uh, type of helmet that they had. Kind of looks like that overall to me. But I, I like this guy, and I like his face. I like his little grimace there. That's kind of a, a good look for him. Uh, Iceberg, he is a snowplow. Um, and this in his robot mode, again, this giant chunk, you really have nothing you can do with. Um, and his back, he's got the, the snowplow piece attaches onto the back here, but it, it kind of gets in the way with the tank treads on his arms. Um, you kind of have to fight with them sometimes, depending on the pose that you want him to be in, kind of, you know, move one, adjust, move readjust, readjust until you kind of get it where it needs to go. So that is one thing where they, they do kind of cause a little issue there. Uh, Braun, Braun is actually one of my favorite G1 characters. Uh, I always thought the toy had a very interesting look to it. Uh, later versions that kept especially the, uh, you know, kind of green and yellow color scheme. Um, I, I just, I, I like his look in his robot mode the problem is and this is basically the same problem you have with every car version of a creon he's got extra tires i don't know why they didn't just drill a little hole right there in the shoulders maybe because of the way the joint is made um, because of the way it's a ball joint but if you were able to take those tires and just kind of poke them into the shoulders on these guys i think that would have helped out a whole lot but um nice big clear blue gun for him uh, because he is a guy who likes to shoot things. All right. Next we go to Cup. Now, again, Cup has a lot of leftover pieces. Uh, but his actual robot mode looks pretty good. It's pretty sleek. You still get the idea of who he's supposed to be. Uh, his kind of blue teal car look. Um, weird thing, though, of course, is that this is his windshield and his chest is his windshield. That's just kind of the leftover, you know, parts from uh, transforming the original toy. And they did the best they could when they uh, put this guy together. Overall, the robot is a good look, but he just has way too many leftover pieces. Uh, Rhinox. I actually love Rhinox. Uh, he was one of my favorite characters on Beast Wars. Um, and it is kind of funny how uh, when you transform the original, the mouth does open. Uh, and so they did draw the mouth on the chest uh, right there. So I think that looks pretty cool. Um, he is kind of plain overall. There's not a whole lot to him. He doesn't have as many uh, bits that you put on like some of the other ones. Um, but overall, he I think he does a good job of representing the character he's supposed to. So I am overall happy with him. Here's Rodimus. Rodimus, again, because he's a car, he's got the extra leftover tires, but then he also has these other just kind of random pieces that are part of the car that add to the aerodynamics. Uh, they did figure out a way to get his little uh, yellow wings up here uh, by his head. Um, so, you know, the flames on the chest, everything, it does a good job of representing the robot he's supposed to be. Uh, so I am pretty happy with the way he actually looks overall. Um, let's see. This is Sandstorm. Sandstorm, the helicopter. Woo. 
it doesn't take much to change him, to transform him when he transforms from robot to helicopter. Um, but there are a couple things that I think stand out. One, he has eyes painted on his head, but when you put this helmet on, they cover him up, which makes me wonder if the helmet's not supposed to go down this far. Um, but the problem is with these helmets and these little heads, once you get the helmet on that head, it is almost impossible to get that helmet off without taking the head off. Uh, unless you've got fingernails and a half hour of time to dig and scratch at it. Uh, otherwise, his eyes are basically just going to be covered up by this helmet forever. Um, and that, that kind of sucks. But I do like the fact that his propeller uh, is you know, able to move freely. Uh, that is pretty neat. And his gun, he does come with this standard little pistol uh, that we see, uh, you know, reused on some of the other characters, but then they use some of the extra pieces left over from his alt mode in order to soup up his gun and make it look a little more menacing. Uh, and I actually like that. That is a neat idea on how to use some of those extra pieces uh, to get them out of the way and uh, give them a function. Um, so that was that was a neat idea to see on him. All right, here we have Slip Strike, uh, who is the <laughs> well. She looks like a female, but I guess you're not supposed to call her female. Um, Transformers are not supposed to be male or female. They're just supposed to be random robots, whatever. But she does have that leftover cone because she is an airplane. And the same way with Cyclonus, you can just pop it on her back. It doesn't look that bad. It's pretty much out of the way. In fact, if you want to kind of fold the wings back a little bit like this, uh, it does more or less cover it up. And then she can be displayed without any of those leftover pieces. Uh, and overall, uh, I think she does look pretty nice. And finally, we have Breakneck. Breakneck, again, being a car, has the leftover tires, but he has a ton of leftover pieces uh, that you have really no use for. He's also, the same uh, problem that we had with Sandstorm, is that his eyes are being covered up by his helmet, and you're going to have a heck of a time getting that helmet off to show his eyes. Um, and in fact, the helmets on both of these guys are the same. And it's that helmet. So I guess it's the design of that particular helmet uh, that just covers up the eyes. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't look like it's supposed to do that. It just kind of creates a problem uh, just to create a problem. So that kind of sucks. But overall, I think a lot of these in robot mode look okay. Um, and, and some of them even look better than okay. They actually look pretty nice. So I have to say that... I probably wouldn't buy this entire series for myself, but I might grab a Brawn. Uh, I might grab a Demolisher just because he transforms on his own. I might buy the Alpha Trion because I uh, didn't expect to see him. Uh, I might buy the Rhinox. Um, the other ones, I don't know. Uh, if they were on sale, I might pick up, you know, if they were 99 cents or $1.99, I might uh, grab them just to have them. But, you know, overall... Um, they are okay. They are not fantastic. Now, the, we've taken a look at these as the robot mode. Uh, now we are going to turn them into their alt modes and take a look at what the differences are. Uh, how well do they, you know, look like a vehicle and whatnot. The other thing I'm going to do is the leftover pieces I'm going to put on those stands so again we can see what's left over from robot mode and what's left over, um, you know, comparing to their alt mode. So. Magic of video editing, let's take a look. So here are the alt modes. Now let's take a look here. Let's zoom in a little bit. What do we see left over on almost every single one of these alt modes? We have pretty much the head or helmet and the gun. And that's pretty much part of the reason why I say that these are really made for the robot mode and the alt mode it's just something they more or less figured out to call it a transformer. All right, zoom back a little bit. Uh, let's start with Alpha Trion here. First of all, you have to rip off his arms in order to make his little uh, spaceship rocket thing here. Um, and so you've got arms and helmet and a little bit of kibble, whatever, left over. And when he makes this spaceship rocket thing, it's, you know, you get the idea. Um, sure, that... That's a rocket ship, I, I guess. Um, but it doesn't really look like anything. 
Um, you know, it's just, it's wider down here and smaller up there, so you get the idea that it's supposed to move this direction. Um, but for the most part, it's just, uh, just kind of a thing. You could almost even take off these little things and say, hey, look, it's supposed to be a TV antenna or something. So that one's, to me, somewhat disappointing. Um, if we take Barrage here, he has this insect mode, which actually kind of works. Kind of. You kind of get the idea that it's supposed to be some sort of insect, but if you look at his leftover parts, his legs and his head are both removed. Those are character-defining uh, pieces of his robot body, and the pieces that you're replacing with in order to make him into an insect are just kind of generic things. I mean, if I showed you just this part, would you say, oh, that's the head of an insect? No, it's just some random parts put together. So, in his insect alt mode, I just really don't think it works that well at all. Uh, let's see. Cyclonus in his jet mode. Um, again, you get the idea that it's supposed to be a jet because it has these wings, even though for whatever reason you're supposed to put them on uh, really what looks backwards. Uh, that's part of his design, but I mean, really, when you look at him, he's still basically a robot, just this time in a purple Ku Klux Klan hat. Or, I don't know, maybe it's a very tall Fez. Um, but, you know, it's... It, there's really not a whole lot to it in this jet mode. And so, again, somewhat disappointing. Uh, Demolisher here. We talked about him briefly before. Um, again, he's basically just the robot. You just kind of... Uh, fold him around a little differently and so uh, I give them credit again for figuring out a way to more or less make an alt mode without um, uh, without having to rebuild him uh, from scratch more or less but uh, still when you look at this thing and you say well what is this? Well, I guess it's kind of a tank or anti-aircraft gun but I don't know I mean really for the most part it looks like a robot laying down so, there you go. Uh, Iceberg here. This is Iceberg, right? Yeah, Iceberg. Um, he is the snow plow. Um, and the plow is a little funky in the way that it's put together. So it has kind of this bow tie effect. Um, his arms, though, are still prominently displayed there. Uh, he's got the treads, and the legs are just kind of hanging off the back to kind of cover up that space back there. Um, again, it... It's there because it has to be there, but it really just doesn't look that good in his plow mode. We've got Brawn, classic character, and when we take a look at him, one of the key things, of course, that stands out is the fact that because of the way that they have to balance some of these pieces, this grill being held on just basically by this one round peg, uh, the front wheels are being held on by the arms, um, it, it actually feels very loose, and there's only so much you can do with it uh, before you start really knocking it out of whack and, you know, the, the illusion of the uh, car kind of falls apart. Also, because of the way the arms are being used, the front wheels really stick out far compared to the ones in the back. And the ones in the back, because you've put this uh, piece on the back, they don't really want to move. Um, you know, stuck in the legs, they don't really spin. Up here in the hands, uh, they do kind of spin, so you can more or less roll them uh, because of the way that they're attached, but back here they really don't. So again, uh, the alt mode just kind of fails because it doesn't really work that well in the alt mode. Here is Cup. Cup, again, the same issues. The grill is being held on by one piece, but he's got this piece of plastic on top that more or less holds it into place. So he works a little bit better than the other ones, but the hands are still uh, there for the tires, so they get loose and they're kind of hard to position sometimes. And the ball joint really does make it difficult sometimes to get it to line up just right the way you want it to. And these pieces pop off very easily, as you can see. Um, the back half of them, you're supposed to take the piece that was hanging around his neck and move it up here to the midsection, and it doesn't all 
quite pieced together right. Um, the, no matter how hard I push, it always pushes itself back out. Um, and so that's kind of disappointing in trying to get the, the overall look of Cup in his vehicle mode. It just really doesn't come together that well. Um, and so this just doesn't look good at all. Rhinox, who we talked about before briefly, here he is in rhinoceros mode. And to be fair, you know, if you look at it kind of like this, uh, yeah, okay, that's a rhinoceros, got it. The problem is this back end back here, and like I said before, it'd be nice if you could make a tail out of his gun or something, um, but this is just really weak and tiny compared to the front and how big and powerful it looks. You almost need this attachment to be a bigger attachment to stick out farther to kind of beef up his you know rear end um, because in this mode uh, that really is somewhat lacking. Rodimus here, same problems as the others. Uh, wheels don't turn that well because of the ball joints in the front. Uh, these wheels get really loose and move out of the way very easily. Uh, this curves around a little too much. And overall, you know, one of the key things about Rodimus is that flame, uh, that yellow flame on the orange uh, hood. And he's in this car mode. I mean, obviously this is not the prime version where he's the big truck. This is supposed to be that race car. This really should be orange with that yellow flame on it, and it's not. Um, if there was some way to rebuild it to put that body piece you know, up here, so you got that trademark look to them, then maybe it would work a little better. You have the same problem with Cup, where the, the piece you put in the middle uh, just doesn't stay in place no matter how hard you push it. So again, somewhat disappointed by this look, especially also because of his race car mode, you know, the wheels in front are just way too wide apart uh, compared to the ones in the back. So this alt mode just doesn't work for me. Uh, Sandstorm, here's the helicopter. Sandstorm, um, these are, if there was something you could do with these arms, actually, I wouldn't mind this one too much. Um, it, it gives you the basic idea that it's the helicopter. You, you have the spinning propellers I give them credit for. You also have this fin in the back. Now this was part of the gun handle that we looked at earlier. They need to put the fin in the middle. Um, so it does have that, you know, gunship helicopter look. And so the way they decide to do that is they have this piece that attaches in uh, and then you basically rotate it over so that you can put the fin right in the middle in the back. So I give him credit for that. Uh, I think that definitely helps the look of him overall. Um, he's got this puny little cockpit head though that looks really kind of silly. Um, and this piece does make it look a little off balance depending on what view you're looking at. So again, this alt mode, uh, disappointing. Uh, slap Slap strike? Slip strike. Slap strike. Slappy. Uh, slap strike. Slip strike. Uh, another one of these where, I mean, really, it's um, the robot wearing a dunce cap or tall fez or clan hood or, you know, really, I mean, the only thing that you're taking off is the helmet. You're adding this, and then you're kind of moving some of these pieces around. You're flipping their uh, direction from where they would be in robot mode look it's robot mode and then you turn it this way oh we're in alt mode um so there's really not a whole lot to the transformation um and so i think it really does kind of lose something in the overall look uh between there and then let's see this is breakneck um, breakneck, same problem that you have with the others with the, the hands uh, being wider in the front uh, than they are in the back. So it throws off the overall look of the balance of the vehicle. But um, the piece that sits on the front and the piece that sits over the top, the two of them really do a good job of stabilizing the front. Um, so you don't have a lot of those same issues that you had with the other front pieces falling off. You do have the same issue here with the midsection uh, once you add that piece. Uh, trying to push them together. They just don't quite hold for whatever reason and want to keep pushing apart. So I think this one, as far as looking like a car and being able to kind of hold its shape while you're more or less playing with it, I think this one works better uh, than the others. But I will say that when it comes to breakneck and cup, uh, 
These actually require a fair amount of ripping apart the toy and piecing it back together in a new configuration trying to build the vehicle mode. Um, the only other one, well, I guess Hot Rod is also kind of that way, but otherwise, um, Barrage is the only other one that really takes a whole lot of rebuilding in order to put him in this insect mode uh, as opposed to the robot mode because it is so completely different than how he is as a robot in order to piece together. Most of these just require substituting, you know, a few pieces or none at all uh, in the case of some of these. Um, but overall, the alt mode is there so you can call it a transformation transformer and it changes its shape, but I think it's really clear that these are meant to be robots. Uh, these are meant to be shown in the robot mode. That's where the character lies. Um, that's what all the pieces really are designed for. And these alt modes really seem like an afterthought. And to me, that's one of the reasons why I'm really disappointed in these overall. Now, like I said, the robot mode on some of these was nice enough that I might actually pick some up to put them in robot mode, leave them on the shelf. Um, I might buy like the Devastator, uh, piece them together as Devastator and put them next to my actual Devastator. Um, I might take Brawn and take the robot Brawn and put it next to my G1 Brawn and the updated Brawn from, what is it, 2002, whatever. Um, and, and, you know, put all of those together so you've got the Brawn robot side by side. You know, I might do something like that. But for the most part, most of these alt modes just really are unimpressive. Um, and I don't see much of a reason why you would want to transform them and leave them in that alt mode. So, overall, not fantastic. Not the worst thing I've ever seen as far as toys go. But um, I'm really not a huge fan of the Creos and the Creons. And um, I think the Construct Bots, even though they look a little janky, are a little bit more uh, of something I enjoy because you actually transform them from one mode to the other. But that's going to do it for today here on Formers Friday. Don't forget to go to popculturenetwork.com. Check out more videos and articles, reviews, comic books, video games, toys, all that other great stuff. You can also find me on Twitter if you want to ask me a question or you yourself want to make a suggestion or uh, something just like we had this week. You can find me at, at PCN underscore dirt. You can always call our 24-hour voicemail line. It's area code 217-953-4025. Uh, and you can go to jointheforums.com, the official forums of the Pop Culture Network. You can go there to uh, basically talk to everyone else. If you're looking for some of these Creons and you can't find them in your local store, there are a lot of people there that are willing to go to their stores, look for the ones you're missing, and help you find them. Uh, so I would suggest that that is a great resource. Plus, you can just have some nice conversations with a lot of great people. That's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching Formers Friday. And I'll catch you guys next time.